to episode two, Warrior Podcast. So today we have the Dolly book that we're going to check out. This thing is so sick. It has all these facsimiles. Oh my god, sit back. Eat. Lab dabsticles in the chat. What's up, my dude? How's it going, buddy? Man, extra lab dabs and lab coats all day for my man sit back going through a little bit of a time right now sadly I won't share the news but you, if you want to you can it's whatever but here's our Dali book this is tight I have to have it just got home I went for the ramen good man hell yeah sit back I'm so glad yeah I, I stumbled upon that ramen place somebody I think it's somebody tagged themselves there or something. And I was like, I'm gonna go there for sure. Looks, I just want some real ramen. Because the only ramen I know, period, ever, is the top ramen, the shit that you get in the, the little brick. Who wants that? Not me. It's pretty good after so many times it's not good. You reading to us? <laughs> How you doing, dude? Dude, I'm doing really good. Doing good, thank you. You know, I had a great weekend and I saw my family today. Poor family. My aunt was sick. That's funny. We just started like talking about all type of stuff and they were only gonna stay for a little while, so but anyway. This is a dope book and it is the treasures of Salvador Dali. Just gonna kind of quickly go through here because you know why do we want to look at some of these photos this is the coolest thing that's like his school ID photo <laughs> that's tight huh but they have like this they have all types of this stuff in here oh my god Scalawag what's up my dude how you doing this evening buddy so good to see you red five as always my man Sorry about your aunt, though. Flu? Oh, I don't think it was the flu, I hope. I still gave her a hug anyway, even though I was like... <laughs> but yeah, there's Dali as a young man. But thank you, man. I, I think she's all right. Yeah, Discord voice is going, so hop in if you'd like to join. Road to glory. There we go. Dali's family. This is all, this tells a lot about it, obviously. These are some of his early paintings, which are cool. That's a pretty good little landscape. Oh, God. Pretty good landscape. Can you guys see that pretty well? It was kind of glitchy there for a second, I know. It's probably going to help things a lot if I make it bigger and glitch it out more. Like, this is just like having an art history class, and it's referential. And I think that it is not considered um, bad to do so. That's an early photo. Look at that one. That's cool, huh? These are pretty nice photos. This is cool. This is very, like, kind of like a little, like, Matisse. A little bit looking like... Impressionistic. He's developing there, but he's looking at... What does it say about that one? That is E. Treasure. Soulabre. French. Word. My dude, Blaster. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Guys hopping up in. My dude, Blaster. Co. Blaster Co. coming through. How you doing this evening, man? We're looking at some art books. This is this is these are really early paintings by Salvador Dali. Tempura on cardboard, private collection. Dali was no doubt influenced by Manet's. 
Genie sur le Bray, as was Picasso, who's inspired to work based on the same painting. Dali's sister, Anna Maria, has written an inscription on the back of it, which indicates she sent it to a friend of hers, Josefina Cusi. I probably butchered those names, but that's this one. Yeah. Manet. I was going to say Manet, too. I said Matisse, but don't be mad, guys. Dude Blaster, what's up this evening, my man? Look, these are paintings of his parents he did. This one's really crazy. It's like rendered very interestingly, huh? He did painted his sister a lot, or yeah, his sister. This one's a super famous one that he did. His sister looking out the window. It's like rendered so good. It's really well done. And then this is sort of like a cubist style. This one. Those colors and the sort of disjointed shapes, even though the portrait is very like well rendered. Damn, these are dope. This one is so small. It's a crazy, it's a weird painting. It's so weird. Like, try to understand. It's like a person with sausage boobs. <laughs> sausage boobs. But it's so well done. But that is literally the size of, like, I mean, I don't know what to describe it as. Like, a, like maybe... Maybe like a carton of cigarettes or something. That one is C, which is called The Spectra of Sex Appeal. Oil on wood. Seven by five inches, so a little bigger than a pack of cigarettes. That's like, it's like that big. Such detail. Which channel should I connect to? You can hop in the uh, subscriber channel. I see you there, buddy. What's up, Scala? What's up, Scala? Oh, there you are. What's up? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Not bad. Let me, uh, let me put down the media so I can hear you instead of the stream. Yes. Sorry about that. No worries. Okay, that yeah, looks funny. I'm like, good. I'm like hearing you and you. <laughs> That's a so lot like of I me. Hear, <laughs> like, I hear you say what's up, like, through the Discord, and then, and then, like, there's silence a little bit, and then I hear, what's up, Scala? Oh, <laughs> on, the, on the stream, I'm like, I don't know which one to answer to. Sausage boobs. It kind of is. Not much just chilling. How's all the legends today? We're doing awesome, Blaster. Thank you, man. I mean, I know I'm doing good. I can't speak maybe for some of the other legends, but... Yeah, man, just, you know, had a lot of love for my family, and, um, it's awesome. Nice. Sounds like a good Sunday. Yeah. I'm making some, uh... Okay, sit back. Cheese. Cool. That's That was my question. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, we went to, uh, we had Easter at family's house today, and so we were just chilling there most of the day. Nice. Just got back... Got back a few minutes ago, so I'm making this quick dinner before I send them off to bed. Beautiful, beautiful. Very I got nice. The phone here in the kitchen while I'm making food. Very nice. With my fucking ten foot charger cable here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so unfortunately, so I don't have to edit it out. We're trying to keep no f bombs, if possible. Language. <laughs> okay. Sorry. At least, at least you warned me. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you know that I, I'm a, I'm a dropper. <laughs> I have to really keep myself in line. I was trying the other day, and I didn't about make it three words. 
Is it like a is it like a Twitch thing or just like a personal thing for the broadcast? It's more of a uh, YouTube thing, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. People have the, these theories about the algorithms, and I don't know about... But I think it's something like within the first 10 minutes or something, if it's, it's kind of all they check. Because I'm doing about a two-hour broadcast. But yeah, you seen some of these Dali paintings, dude? They're so uh, sick. Kind of, I was showing you... Uh, I was looking at them on the screen there for a second. Yeah, this one like with the watermelon, real cubist, 1924. I like this portrait of his buddy. Of his buddy, he did that one crazy film. Luis Bunuel. Yeah, I don't know, you probably wouldn't, unless you really know surrealist history you probably wouldn't know him but this is interesting this painting is really cool too it's very small it's like this weird landscape with these weird like crazy looking bodies but just the way that it's laid out it's this that's like the first beginning of his style I feel like being developed like I look at that and I know right away that's a dolly. I have to go. We have to go grocery shopping before we can make dolly. <sighs> and these are the. This is the coolest part. The facsimiles of these documents. Shit. I think I I read like two quarter or half. And I think I read like a little less than half into that book that he wrote. It's like autobiography. The, the book that you turned me on to, it's like... Yeah. Uh, you only read it halfway? That. Yeah, I think, like, The Extraordinary World of Salvador Dali. Yes. Dali. Yeah, what's it called? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, like, The Magnificent Life of, or something? Yeah. I'm talking Uncle Evan. Go, go play a game. Dude, you gotta finish it. It's dope, but... This is, like, some... Yeah. Yeah, this is some certificate. Oh wait, it tells you. I should probably look at the thing that tells you. That is a that is seat. I certify that Salvador Dali, native of Figueres, province of Girona, entered this school. Entered this school in 1921. 1922 course. Passed all the following subjects. Perspective passed. Anatomy passed. General teaching of modeling failed. Failed general teaching of modeling. <laughs> passed. History of art in the ancient uh, and middle ages. Distinction. Drawing of statues passed. He enrolled all the subjects in the second group of painting class. But did not pass them to account of being expelled from the school with the loss of the course by virtue of ruling issued I got disconnected for a second because I had to take a drink there. Oh that's right. Expelled from the school with the loss of course by virtue of the ruling issued by the Council of School Discipline. In the nineteen twenty four, nineteen twenty five course he enrolled in the subjects of the second group obtaining the preparatory Studies of Coloring Diploma of Merit. History of Art in the Modern and Contemporary Age Distinction. Where? In Life Drawing at Rest, Past, and in Calligraphic Printing. No, I'm sorry. Calligraphic Printing. Obtain the following marks. Coloring and Composition. Failed! I love seeing the ones that he failed. Don't shout out the evil man. <laughs> whiteboard is whiteboard is my dude. Oh shit! What what's up, rice eater? How's it going? Is it uh, were you at whiteboard at last night when you were on your stream? I was at whiteboard's house. Oh my god, Dill Bill! Holy fuck, dude! What's up, what's up with Dill Bill? I'm not on the chat. Dilbil just did some things. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god, Dilbel, thank you so much, dude. 5,000, brother. Oh my god. Holy cow. Fucking that revolver that I got is fucking so much fun. Yeah, little twenty-two. Yeah. Interesting. It's a, it's a single action. Uh, Hi. Yeah. So you have to like uh, pull back the hammer and cock it each time you want to. Really? Wow. Um, so it's like an old school cowboy gun. So much fun, dude. It's so loud. That's the only yeah. action? It's not semi auto? No, yeah. It's like you pull the trigger and then you have to pull the hammer back and then you pull the trigger and you have to pull the hammer back. Got you. So Real like six double, shooter. Yeah, double action where. Double, double action. action. Where you can pull the trigger and the hammer will go and you just keep pulling the trigger. It's like. It's like. Mm -hmm. the, the, that weird place between semi automatic and. Revolver, like it's still a revolver, but you can like pull the trigger and it will make the hammer go back as opposed to a single action where the hammer has to be back before you can. Uh huh. But so, my 22 rifle, when I shoot like these special ammo out of it, it's quiet. It like, I mean, you don't need ear protection or anything with that rifle because it's got these special parts to make it quiet and all the gases escape like out of the main barrel. But with the revolver, all the gases expand and escape out of like around the cylinder where the bullets are and all sure. that stuff. Sure. So like Absolutely. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so check this out. These are like drawings he did. Let's see. Oh my god. Cool. This is cool. This is like kind of like a cartoon. I don't know if he drew this. Pretty good. It's like a little, like a little mini comic. God damn, Dill Bill. Holy shit, dude. <clears throat> oh my god, Dill Bill, you crazy man. Dude, I know, right? I always think that. He lived to 85, which is pretty good. God damn, Dill Bill. The real, the real deal, like, Holyfield, dude. He died in 1985. He lived to be 85. I think he died in like, okay. I think he died in like 90 something, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, Dill Bill, my man. You want that stencil, brother? It's yours. It is all you right now, my dude. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dill Bill. Holy fuck, dude. I'm gonna have to edit that out. I'm gonna make a time note, 25 minutes. I'm actually gonna write that down. <laughs> Trying to keep the F-bomb to a minimum. Oh my god. Dobill's going off tonight. Really going off. Better tell the whiteboard is I'm the titty bitty master. If he wants to donate, it's gonna be through PayPal. <laughs> G G, I might have to tell that to him verbatim. I think he might have to get a quote on that, Dillbill. What's happening? Dillbill dropped down a bunch of biddies. So much fucking biddies. I gotta make a quote. I'm gonna step away from the microphone for a second. I got to play in these meetings. Sure, buddy. Dill Bill, how do I even do this? <laughs> how do I even do it? Smoke dog, baby. God damn. That's the equivalent of how much? Over five thousand dad jokes. We gotta we gotta appreciate. Yo, Nick's Eternal. How's it going? The lovely comment, oh my gosh, Nix. Absolutely. 
you know it's interesting we're um i'm glad that you dropped by nix because we're looking at um the salvador dali book and these are these are such cool documents we've been going through it's been getting blown up a little bit but um yeah so we're looking at some art history and yeah um i mean i really you know i don't want to be cliche in looking at a painting of a ballerina and, and just some automatically thinking Degas. I really feel like the way that you rendered it um, reminds me of Degas' work. It's really, so it's my honor. You're so sweet. You're a streamer too, right? I'm pretty sure I'm following, if not. Oh, shit. Well. Oh wait, so are you a streamer, Nix? Oh, you're uh, yes. Sorry, dude. Yeah, maybe like the having the chat might be good. A different style in that painting than I usually do. Super shy. Okay, <laughs> no worries. I I felt like I had seen maybe someone with a similar name or something streaming, but um, I'm so glad to that you dropped by. I hope that you enjoyed tonight. We're uh. Yeah, just kind of doing a sort of podcast style. I have my friend uh, Scalawag with me in Discord as well. Yep, and uh, anyone else really who wants to jump in, basically. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoy. And then we're going to get into just some games. It's usually our game night, so. I've been here before, that's right. All right, I, I remembered somehow. I was like, wait, do you stream, though, or not? Oh, cool. Well, if you don't, if you don't mind, or I know it's kind of like sometimes you're like, uh, um, but what other art streamers do you like? What am I working on now with art? Well, one piece is this huge painting right behind me here, the Broncos one, and then I have this other one. You probably got a lot of stuff going right now. I do. I always have. About 100 things. I'm making prints of the uh, Zelda piece. And then this piece, the little pinata thing, is another yeah, project. So. Yeah, thanks, Sue. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's up, Dil Bell, my dude? Oh my god. I'm just trying to make your oh. quote right here, man. Holy shit. What's up, Dil Bell? Nice Thank you so you. much for blowing it up, bro. How's it going? Oh shit, burn plastic. Sounds oh, good. Right on, man. What you up to? Playing Eve Online. Oh, Eve Online? Better make sure the white boys knows I'm looking for <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't know by now, I'll I'll tell him, but it's it's pretty obvious at this moment. <laughs> You're the king. You're the king. The equivalent of five thousand dad jokes. That's like, man, that fucking blows my mind right there when you think about it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see here. Four twenty one. How was your day yesterday, Max? Pretty good. Oh, God. Uh, yesterday was four twenty. Uh, <laughs> four twenty. Four twenty. Amy didn't have to work until like two, so she kind of hung out with me. It was good. And Amy's sister Emily hung out with. She's been hanging out here a few days since uh, her friend gave her an RV. Kind of a long story, but what? So she got this RV from her friend for free. She's eventually gonna buy it from him, but at the moment he kind of was just giving it to her because his license was suspended. Um, and so he went to try and 
register the RV that he was going to live in out here, or he was going to drive it out to Washington. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yo, Yasmina, baby girl. What's happening? How are you this evening? Laugh down, laugh down. Okay. Register it or anything. So we just had to leave My it favorite art streamers are um, Joseph Kaselik. So Interesting. Okay. In cool. Thanks, uh, Nix. Uh, it's like a Pink Epoxy. Sweet. Oh, interesting. Got like a to build the lab dabs. Kitchen. Egg. Yeah, so that's at our place now. And so she's been stopping by like once a week, like staying in. She's going to restore the inside and stuff like this. So oh, nice. Cool. Uh, nice. So anyway, she uh, stayed in the RV the night before last. And um, so she was hanging out with us all day yesterday and <clears throat> hung out. After uh, Amy went to work, and we just played life with the kids. And had yeah, lunch, yeah, nice. Lunch, dinner, so. Excellent, excellent. Real, real chill. And then Amy got off of work at like 12.30. She didn't get home till almost 2. Oh, my God. Yeah, because she's training. Uh, well, she finished her training. How do I put me? Yeah. Yeah, you just do. need her to do another three months at this branch. Oh, okay. And it's up in <clears throat> Cool Springs, which is like just outside of Nashville. So uh, it's like an hour drive each way. Word. Dill Bill, you just do quote 81. And it'll show up. Just remember that. And hopefully none get deleted. Remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah, just so you know. Um, right now, GTA Online uh, contact missions all the stuff with like Simeon or or uh, Gerald or like any of the basic uh, missions they're all double money right now so interesting if you, to, if you want to just like do some fucking simple easy contact missions we can make some quick money real quick okay weird I'll hit you up wait that sounds good I like that <laughs> stupid way to say that but um, yeah Nick uh, oh my coffee. gosh making coffee as we speak Oh my gosh, oh, Nix. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, that's uh That the dog painting was very very fun for me. It's really one of my first pet portraits. It was a commission piece that I had done. Um And yeah, really kind of my first time really rendering fur like that with like oil paint. It was crazy. It like it, it hurt my brain a lot, but I had a lot of fun with it, so I appreciate it. Still working on my dog painting commission. Yeah, the fur, I respect anyone who can render that fur, like, psh, Bob Ross could probably kill it. Rest, rest his soul. Are you, uh, are you ever going to try any, like, pointillism or stipple or anything like that? Mmm, that's a good question. I mean, certainly I'm, I couldn't tell you no. I'm not, <laughs> you know, like, of course I'm, I, I would love to probably dabble at some point. Like, are you, would you be interested in like, I mean, no, I'm not even, I'm not suggesting necessarily like exclusively like ink. I'm painting but like, three like on one painting oil pointillism or something. and having trouble getting the ginger color. Oh, yep. I feel like, yeah, no, I would mess with it. You know, you know, I'm down. There you go, Dilbo. There it is, Dilbo. <laughs> and he got the show loves in there too. So, <laughs> better tell the whiteboard is I'm the titty bitty master. If he wants to donate, he's gonna be through PayPal. <laughs> and I quoted it as Papa Dilbo. Okay, sit back. Oh my gosh. That's crazy that whiteboard is pleasant to remember. Dude, yeah, it was it was fun. He's a great host, super good dude. But yeah, sorry, I was I was looking at this document. Sorry. I was reading this uh, the thing that this says because this is all in Spanish, and it's got a translation for me. But this is the hand a facsimile 
of the handwritten document that Dolly got. And it's talking about the p classes that he fails and shit. And it says... Theory, failed theory of fine arts attended without wanting to be examined I remember him talking he talks about that in the book do you do you remember some of that in the beginning um vaguely it's been a long long time since I've read that book this is so funny alleging that none of the teachers were capable of judging him refused to be examined <laughs> study of architectural forms he did not attend Life drawing and movement failed. Scientific drawing. Non-attendance. And calli calligraphic printing failed. To be able to obtain the title of drawing teacher, he lacks all the subjects of the third and fourth group of the painting section, plus those corresponding to those drawing teachers. Results of antecedents that are now in the possession of the secretariat for which I am responsible. Okay, wow. Crazy. And where's his ID? It's in here somewhere. Oh shit, I hope I didn't lose it. Oh god, I don't see it. What? Payment receipt. Buying like canvases and shit, I think. But that's like, you spent the whole ride it's pretty cool. So yeah, it's cool to have these documents. This is crazy to know what this is. This is like yeah, Did, uh, like part that of his little. Gift to you or, uh, um, actually, I think pick that I picked it up on sale, like hell on hella sale. Pretty writing, huh? It is good writing. Well, how should art be judged? There really isn't a right or wrong way. Everyone does it differently, and that's what makes them good. Very well said, Nix. Very well said. I mean, you know, it can be just as simple as... Oh, here we go. Gotta have to dig for it. It's way in here. Fuck. Fucking up the book. <laughs> this is like what the ID looked like. I feel like I'm kind of listening to like a comedy CD without like seeing what's happening. Because <laughs> I don't have to stream up on my phone right this second. Sure. You're just like showing me stuff and like describing things. I'm like, I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. I like it. It's That's like a true podcast, basically. I got to remember that if it's going to be a podcast podcast, that there will be people listening and not seeing, listening only. But yeah, there's like five or six documents there. Copies of the originals. Oh, fuck. They're so hard to get back in here. There we go. So, yeah. My man Fonzie coming through. Yo, Fonzie, thank you for the 26. Oh, my God. I'm doing so, things. Um, I've been like... Here for a second at the Low moment, key, but lurking in Discord, kind of, and those awesome documents like, must cost a lot. Dude, it, I got this book on like, super cheap. The they were, like, going to be, like, getting rid of it. It's, like, okay to curse inside our house. Mm. Uh, what? Yeah. Like, Are you... We, we curse as adults around the kids. Like, we're not, like... There you go, dude. Get whatever. it, my dude. Get it. what we say and, you know, there's been lots of studies that show that people who curse are more honest. Interesting. And uh, I think so. That uh, I don't like groups of friends and kids. Um, groups that curse versus groups that don't. Um, the groups that do curse freely um, have like a tighter bond than those that. Yeah, don't. interesting. I can see um, that. I could because, definitely like, see if, that. If, if you go out of your way, I mean, I'm not saying everyone should curse. I just like if it's comfortable, comfortable or whatever. But um, like people who don't curse a lot aren't necessarily as honest. 
because they're like editing what they say. Sure. And I'm not like, sure. I don't mean that to say that these people aren't honest and good. People. No, right. Of course. If there's anyone listening, if there's anyone listening that doesn't curse, that's fine. I'm not trying to tell you to or that you're a bad person. Just like science is weird. Anyway, so um, I've been having like little conversations with Tess about things like that. That's cool. Now, if she feels like she needs to say a bad word, like she can ask permission or whatever, and you know, if it's within a, a correct context or you know, application or whatever, then it, it'll be okay. So yeah, okay. So last night, so last night, it was like twelve thirty, and she couldn't sleep. And, uh, <laughs> I was playing GTA, and I was playing one of the online missions. You just had to like blow up some stuff. <laughs> and Tess was sitting next to me. She's like, Daddy, think. I mean, I, uh, I think I need to use a bad word. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> what's up? And she was like, and, I, and I'll edit it so that we maintain the... I think uh, I need to use a bad, bad word. word. Yeah, well, and I'll, ma I'll maintain the PG rating of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, she was like, that car's pretty effed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my but God, that's funny. Obviously, I think she I need to use a bad word. <laughs> Yeah, she she said it 100% correct and correct context and everything. To and the other, I just like I probably was smiling like a mile wide. It was just like, yep, you're right, babe. I like <laughs> that. So funny. Let's see, like, Nick's like, Nick's Eternal says. Nick's Eternal says, uh, I think to the other person on the mic, which is Scalawag, our good buddy. I think as long as the adults explain to their kids that they shouldn't and there are times and places when swearing definitely isn't appropriate i swear a lot but my kid knows not to <laughs> yes that's exactly exactly our, our thought process i think that's um, yeah i think that's we we swear good approach. a lot and we make sure that even <laughs> when we are in the correct context or social circles you know like we know when to watch our mouths and that kind of thing and so i've had Every time I have this conversation with her, I'm like, just so you know, this is only allowed at our house with us around, like, in the in, in the general context of whatever is going on. Like, you can't talk like this at school. You can't talk like this, um, you know, to other people like disrespectfully, um, and you won't talk. It's to good. Your it's family, good policy. Family member. Yeah, like no, basically not outside of this house or away from us. That's, we've definitely covered that. Thank you for that point, too. Uh, Evan, or Young Warrior, was um, catching that, that comment because I don't have my chat screen up right now. But yeah, he's he doing a right good job. Up. Yeah, Max uh, is good. Thank you for, Max thank is you for good bringing dad. that up, and I agree 100%. That's good. Keeping it real. But we still have manners where manners are needed. Yes. There it is. Exactly right. Like, well said. Just because we curse doesn't mean we don't have manners, and we can still... Like, that's what's awesome about being, living out here where we are, because, like, you hold the door open uh, for everyone, no matter where you are, and everyone is yes sir, no sir, yes man, no man. I love but it. It's just There's some so, respect. Like, just basic yeah, respect like, is all, it's all I'm looking there, for. I can, I can remember a few times in living in Denver where you, like, say yes ma'am or, or yes sir, no sir, and people get all bent out of shape. Oh, don't call me <laughs> sir, blah, That's blah, my blah. dad. You're like, well, like, fuck. I'm just trying, yeah, I'm just trying to be. <laughs> Gotta write that one down. <laughs> Where are we at? 45 minutes. <laughs> I literally yeah. gotta keep notes. Damn. Mm -hmm. Trying to not. Need a pen. Come on, coffee. I need my coffee. Cool. Well, I think I'm gonna um, hop out of Discord real quick and then. Uh, just finish up with this book and then I'll probably hop back in or I mean won't be too long Are you gonna stay on the are you just gonna stream and just not be on chat? Yeah, just out of the discord Okay, uh, that'll give me time to put the kids to bed and I'll jump back on the stream here in a little bit. All right, cool, man All right, talk to y'all later. Cool. Thanks, sweaty late, late. That's good, keeping it real. But we still have manners, yeah. 
We need some of your people over in the island of Australia. Oh my gosh, are you in Australia? I think everyone here has forgotten how to be respectful in these matters, yeah. Oh, do you really think so? I, I'll tell you honestly, I'm super fascinated with Australia. I met so many super awesome, oh cool, Scala, good, perfect, perfect. I think this way is a little bit better. To try to stay a little bit focused, basically. <laughs> but I, in my travels, I met quite a few Australian people who were really getting out there and checking out the world. And they were the kindest people. So generous. So awesome. I feel like accepting of everyone, you know, just like, you know. And, uh... I don't know. I really love Aust Australia. I, I want to visit at least. Like, I don't know. I love the humor. There's so many Australian shows that I watch, which I don't know if, like, you are watching those. But if you ever mess with, let's see, Nick's Eternal, the show Swift and Shift Couriers, hilarious. And Howzo's, fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Where's my pencil? I just had it. I just had it. Here it is. 45 minutes. 47 minutes. I can think I can say Frick. Frick is a good substitute. 45, 47, and 25 minutes. Okay. Oh my gosh, Grumpy. What's going on? How are you today? More than Canadians. Yeah, I don't think so. So, so much that I have super social anxiety. Oh my gosh. Nix. I know, I know a couple people. Basically with similar stuff, and I understand. My daughter is straight up singing Warren G. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Australians are pretty chill. And like to have a good time. But they're sloppy a lot too, and I think... Not as kind to people as I think we all should be. I appreciate that very much. I'm that way too. This painting is so dope. It's so weird, right? It's like all long. And that guy's like butt cheek is like... Three feet long or something? It's called... The Enigma of William Tell. Oil paint on canvas. Dali wrote that the figure of William Tell represented his father and that the baby was himself. Oh, there's like a little baby up in there that he's holding. See those details? It has like a lobster on its head. He did weird shit like that. Wait. No, it's a, it's a, like a lamb shank. Or like a, a lamb... Little, 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 little piece of lamb. Lamb chop. Instead of wearing a traditional apple of the William Tell story on his head, though, he has a lamb chop. Dali also portrays his father as Lenin, a revolutionary leader admired by the Surrealists. The Surrealists viewed the painting as an attack on Lenin and tried to destroy it when the work was shown at the Salon de Independence, 1933, between the First and Second World War. But they couldn't reach it as it was hung too high, thank God. That's why that's that's part of why that's the dopest piece. It's so weird, right? That's like dude, think about a painting like evoking so much emotion that the people are trying to smash it. I've actually had some paintings almost not quite that controversial, but almost kinda. Denied from being in shows sometimes, you know what I mean? My daughter went to help an old lady carry groceries to the car. Oh my god. The other day, and the poor lady thought she was getting mugged. Oh no. Oh no. Yo, Grumpy Dusty coming through. How's things been, man? Old people be tripping. <laughs> Literally and figuratively, right, Grump? Oh, man. His butt cheek. Oh, my God. I know that's funny, right? 
Desperate Origin. It's really, you know, the surreal stuff is so cool. So look what he did. He, like, made a lobster phone. That's, like, ceramic or something. I'll read about it. But these canvases are cool where the frames are, like, the people. And they just have, like, that really nice, subtle landscape and those cool clouds. I love this. These, like, very simple landscapes. Let me see if we can get this one in focus. It's really tough. See how simple that is, like, oh, with those real broad shadows. I love that one. This is a weird one, too. They're all, they're all pretty weird. The crutches, though. He, he puts, see, and there's the crutches in the William Tell. All the crutches. That was, like, representative of, you know, things like, like, like keeping things hoisted up. My art has sparked a government coup. <laughs> Let's read about these figures. Let's see. Couple with their head with their heads full of clouds. That is indeed what it is. Get this out of the way because I'm gonna fucking spill it all over. Dali, like other surrealists such as Margarita or Max Ernst presented the outlines of two silhouettes through which one can perceive an unreal reality. Interesting. Okay, this one up here, let's see. It's called The Dream, 1937. One of Dolly's most well known surrealist works. This painting reflects Dolly's image of sleep as a monster with a heavy head and reliant on crutches. The breaking of the crutches symbolizes the sensation of falling one feels sometime, the sensation of falling one sometimes feels when suddenly waking, which he would do what he would call sleep with, sleep with a, sleep with a key or, hmm. Something like that. I know it sounds weird. It's like he would like hold like a key, like a big key or something. Or I think maybe sleep with a spoon, something. And he would like, he would like hold his arms over his chair or something. Be like sleeping. And like as soon as he would fall asleep, he would like very barely drift off to sleep. He would drop the key. And like he said that that moment of sleep, just that fraction of a second, from when you actually drop the key and it hits the floor, waking you up is the exact amount of sleep that you need for, like, inspiration. Pretty crazy. He's totally crazy. <laughs> Despite origin. Yeah, sometimes the simple paintings are better. I'm starting to notice that. I used to spend weeks on one painting. And some of my quick paintings are the ones that people like the most. Isn't that interesting, Nix? Isn't that interesting? Ah, I, I'll tell you, I yearn for that, Nix. I, I yearn for that more than anything. Ones I'm not overly proud of get the most likes. Grumpy, I know. I love Grumpy Dusty's work. Grumpy Dusty has a very... Unique, I feel like a very unique and recognizable style um, that with the abstract work. You do a lot of cool different techniques, like you know, like the like sanding stuff and like remove it to like get the layer beneath, like some of the kind of like weathered looking stuff. All types of different, but it's still recognizable. I but I could see why you say that, Grumpy. Yeah, where like you're like that one people like. You're like, I don't like that one. <laughs> Maybe or something where you're like that one. I, I didn't, you know, I was like not thinking that one before the artists consisted, uh, before artists consisted off of coffee. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe we used to spend weeks on one painting. Some of my quick, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You can drop a link to your Instagram, please. Yeah. Go for it, dude. Appreciate it.
You got a lot of posts, I feel like. I want to post so much more. These ones are so freaking... Look how weird... This one's so crazy. Like... You do wonder about, like, the mind of this dude. Like... I love the details, though. They're so crazy. Like, just those kind of broad areas of paint, but, like... It's like a weird arm... Oh, wait, that is probably not it. Gotta keep it cropped out. <laughs> you do weird stuff. There's, like, bacon... You always have like a little slab of bacon and stuff like and that might be another pork chop or something like what but into that beautiful landscape in the back look at those clouds so gorgeous and that's the difference like oh my god pretty pretty crazy all right don't don't block okay probably not i gotta I gotta remember to like censor some of these unfortunately Ooh, these are some of my favorite. This bread. That bread, though. He's, he would spend, like, forever. I saw this one in real life at the museum, at his museum in Figueres, where he lived for a while. Well, I mean, he lived there most of his life. Thereabouts. Focus, damn you. Look at that detail. Oh, my. That basket, trust me. The basket is what took the longest. Fuck all that. That's a painting. Like, that's a painting. It's so gorgeous. I love this one, too. These weird... This is that really surreal. But those clouds are so beautiful. And, like, into that landscape. Like, little guy in there crutch of course you're like what is that form i love that oh god so good right to ball my dude if you have everyone's instagram account we can do it wait i saw a boob uh that was not it was a rendered abstract shape Gr D grumpy dusty i you know if you perceived it as that that's you that's you. It's not. <laughs> it's art. So. On the stream TV now. Okay, awesome. Whenever I'm scrolling through Insta, I see it and I'm like, oh wow, this is Grump's work. This is what I'm saying. Definable style, which I'm telling you, you can't. You can't buy definable style. You can't. Sometimes you can, I feel like, even... I guess you could work for it or toward it, but... It's something that is unequivocal. I don't know if that's the right word, maybe, but... It's true. It's fucking awesome. Mind if I post Insta? If you have it, just post it. <laughs> the ball's like, just post it. Just post it. If you have it, just... Deval, my dude, what's going on? How are you, man? But if you don't know their Instagram, it will make things more difficult. Subjective. Objective. Non-objective. You can't put a finger on just what art is. Oh, man. The most classic paintings. We'll see what... What facsimiles they have there. Persistence of memory. The best. That's really small. Not that small, but... I love this one. This one's so crazy. It's like... So weird. It's like a scale... It's actually... Based off of... Uh, Millet's... Uh, one of Millet's paintings. It's like I love the reflections on the rocks. Oh my god, this is shit. It's called Autovism at Twilight Obsessional Phenomenon. Also had the weirdest titles in the game. Shout out Dolly. This earlier interpretation of the Angelus scene has Dolly. Moving the couple, yeah, Angelus by Millet. 
has Dolly moving the couple to the end of the day? The man's head is now a skull, and a wheel barrel extends out of it again. There is a hallucinatory element to the scene that sits paradoxically with the pastoral vision of Millet, who is the original artist. We got. We should look up Millet's painting real quick. Very tra like traditional artist, and he also did. Uh, uh, what was it called? The Gleaners. Yep. That's what's up. But he would he loved like these weird random paintings. Yeah. Maybe no. Not that one, bruh. Dope painting. So we'll look at them both. And so, like, Dali went all crazy with it, man. Bro, you went all crazy with it. You can see how it's modeled after that painting. But he went all crazy with it. So there you go. Pretty dope. Very dope. Mmm, coffee! That sounds good. I got a V8 energy. You know how I do. You must have been on some really magic munchy mushies. Mushies! <laughs> mushies. Yeah, you know what? This is what he said. This is what his quote was. They would ask him. They're like, have you done drugs? Or are, you, are you on drugs when you, you know, are doing your, I mean, regularly or whatever? And he just said simply... I am the drug. Think about that. Uh, think about that one. That's like, dude. You, 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 you right. You right. <laughs> Holy shit, right? Blasty blast? No. <laughs> Interesting. Well, since, you know... You hit us with that first. If you said hello first, we might have you around. But we're going to give you a little break. And then maybe it'll get better. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool to see both. Munchies. <laughs> mushies mushrooms which so yeah he apparently was not was not mushed out kind of interesting oh yeah that is cool to see both seriously indeed I know right I know what's that code for I am the drug such a dope quote Hello first, then what would have worked? I don't know. I'm just gonna make a note about Blasty. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Better, Duvall. Better. <laughs> Mushrooms isn't code for the drugs. Uh. Alright. Strawberry flavored? That sounds. Oddly good, Duval. Damn it. Just, but, relax, first of all. And second of all, you're banned forever. Global ban. It's 
check out these facsimiles. It's best for the setup. Invitation Surrealist Cocktail Party at the Duplex Studio of Jay Woodner Silverman. Oh, that's cool for a surrealist party. I think Dali made like that image or something. Invitation. Almost looks more like a ransom note in a way. Maybe that's what they wanted. Shrooms, yeah, it is. <laughs> Mushies. I know. Apparently not, but. Oh, this is dope. What is this? Exhibition of paintings. This is like. Literally, if you went to this. I think if you went to the show, you could have bought Persistence of Memory. The melting clock painting. You actually could have bought it. And that investment, that painting's priceless. There's no way it would, there's no way it'd be less than like, pfft, be like $200 million or some bullshit. Probably even more. Exhibition of paintings by Salvador Dali. Julian Levy Gallery. Madison Avenue. Yeah, in New York. November 21st to December... Look. This is like on the advertisement. Oh my god. Oh, and this lists all the paintings. That's another one, I guess, like a drawing. Damn, that's tough. Playing GTA tonight? If so, I'll play. Ah, uh, I was thinking of playing Zelda. I put Zelda in the thing, but it is a rare night. I could update the title. I don't know, Deval. What do you think? I kind of want to play some Zelda. Ah, if I could, should take advantage when Deval's here. Jump on for a little bit before my darling comes home. Double money on contract missions. Ugh. Wait, does that count for today? Wait, it's like today's the last day, huh? Might have to jump on. I think the decision was just made for me. Alright, let's read about these. So the first one, that invitation was... A Surrealism Party Invitation. There is no year given for this party, which took place the 14th of July at the Duplex Studio in New York. But the Julian Levy Gallery provided paintings by Dali to show at it. That's so tight. And then the exhibition catalog. This was a catalog for Salvador Dali's first solo ex exhibition at the Julian Levy Gallery in New York. The artist, had, the artist already had some of his work shown in the same gallery as part of exhibitions by the Surrealist group. Interesting. And then this is the draft of Andre Breton's letter to Salvador Dali. Oh my god. Oh. What is this one? Salvador Dali's signed statement. After Dali responded to Andre Breton's letter in a note in a note of 25th of January, a meeting of the Surrealist group was held and Dali then signed a statement by which he agreed to take more care in what he said about the Surrealist doctrines in public. Ooh. Oh, shit. He wrote a note. He was like, all right, bro, I won't say shit anymore. There's his signature. If you put if you put it in the thing, you gotta stick to it now. Double money is through Tuesday, I think. All right, well then, no. 
Am I seeing a picture of you with Bob Ross wig chopped out to your head? I don't know. I sit back. I don't know if sit back might not be here. Oh my god, that's funny. Dude, this is a big ass poster. What the fuck? Oops. Yeah, dude, but Sitback made that little photo. So I use it everywhere I can. Well, what is this? It's a huge, huge poster thing. The Yellow Manifesto. Its full title is the Anti-Artistic Catalan Manifesto. And it is also known as the Ma Manifest Grok. It was written by Dali and the art critic Luis Montan Montagna. Tony Montagna. And Sebastia Gosh. It was aimed at the youth of Catalonia and criticized the decayed state of culture and defended modernity and the legacies of recent art movements. That's pretty dope. I don't even know what it says. There is some translation. We should read E what Dali wrote. The Surrealists. Considering that Dali had seriously lost sight of the fact that Surrealism is not just a movement of disinterested conscientiousness, but also a group that has taken a position in favor of the communist revolution demands that now that from now on he takes the least ambiguous stance in making any public manifestations of his activity oh well, maybe he didn't write that he just signed it yep that's it that's it he didn't write it he just signed it. He was like, fuck you. Oops. God. F-bombs. All right. I got to edit it. I got to edit it. I, my last video got taken down because I forgot I had songs on at the break time. You got to understand. Where did I make my notes? Oh, my God. I love Chipotle. 114 oh, golly. but this is the height of his career these these paintings are so cool and then he starts doing crazy stuff as you I'm sure would believe when are we playing Rocket League though damn fuck the ball <sighs> mess around mess around and make me play tonight ah uh, what I, I'm terribly sorry I think we were trying to plan one out, and I probably, probably flaked. Did I flake the ball? <laughs> Yee! Dude, these, this one, this one. Oh my God, he can't even get in focus. It's so crazy. Swans reflecting elephants, I think is, the proper title. Whew, pretty well done. Very well done. And this one is a huge painting. This one below, you can't even really see, like, you're like, that's a painting. It's really weird. It's just super weird, kind of. There's people, like, fighting in the back. That's a huge painting. That's, like, the size of a wall, like bigger. Haven't had any good ramen in years. Ooh, I'm about to try this place out. And his drawing of Sigmund Freud. Actually, I think it might be a painting. Er, Portrait of Sigmund Freud, India ink and gouache on paper. He knew how to he knew how to blend that gouache though. Look at that highlight on the forehead. That's insanity. Pretty good. 
These are so crazy. I wish, you know, we could really get a good shot and study, study this one because it's, it's fucking nuts. Nuts and futs. These little examples of like showing what, what is what in each one. I don't even know if, I don't know if the camera can. You see how bad it was. Dolly! Oh, inappropriateness. This is a cool one. Oh yeah. The Metamorphosis of Narciss Narcissus. Oh, this is it. This is my favorite painting, I think, of his. The Metamorphosis of Narcissus. Or Narcissus, maybe. God, look at the detail. This is a good photo. Who knows what going on back there? Fucking, it's too good, right? That was the state of it. Could use it like watercolor, though, yeah. Gouache, yeah. Oh, or ink. You know what ink I just tried for my first time painting? It was tattoo ink. Oh, my goodness. Probably very expensive ink to use. Yeah, true. Interesting, dude. Scalawag, yeah. I'm actually surprised you've never done that. In a way, it's probably not the first thing you'd think of, but I like it. What do you do that on, like, watercolor paper? This is so crazy. Like, you can't imagine... I don't know if I actually did see this painting. Where is it? That's oh, in Munich. Oh. Damn, that's sick. I would love to see that one. It's so weird. Like, you can't even understand what's going on. Like, it takes, like, time to study. So detailed. Like... <sighs> what even is going on? Like, this crazy, like, horse action... Weird arm stuff. I don't know. Crazy. But I saw this portrait of Picasso. He calls it Portrait of Picasso in Spain. Ooh, there we go. That's actually a really good painting. And this one, too. Yeah. That looks rad, you know. Funny. So you had tattoo ink and no paint or just trying new things? Oh, there's... I don't want this to be... Yeesh. I love this self-portrait called soft self-portrait so crazy soft self-portrait all the crutches and the bacon like why the bacon I've done that in some of my paintings random bacon hmm, interesting huh and and that's really about it, honestly. Ooh, the jewelry. They have this whole other museum, really, 
of the jewelry that he did. It's so, oh my god. You guys, look at this. That thing's big. It's like two foot high. So nuts. Look at that crazy stone it sends on. Those like weird like telephone earrings. <laughs> what? Oh man, these are big like these are big like sculptures. They're big. Such beautiful detail golden shit this heart actually beats I'm sure you guys can like look at videos or something that heart literally moves and beats mounting clock medallion weird freaking hand these lips are so they're like Cool, huh? So trippy, right? I would rock that, though. Dali is the, the dude I would go to. I saw this one in St. Petersburg, Florida. My aunt and uncle took me. It's a huge painting, too. Beautiful details. Totally surreal. Like, the glass. Oh, my God. Ooh, look at that. Can't even hardly believe it's a painting. This weird freaking, what is that? It's like a vegetable. Perfectly painted. He's crazy. Nice, fuck. I have to delete this VOD. I'm so sorry. That is about it. These you have these weird see like kinda of started doing like really kind of weird but still fun paintings later on in life. This is at his house. This the, oh sorry. This is the ceiling that is painted. In inside that crazy it's like a mansion and there's a sketch of it before on a photo of it and he was like I'm gonna turn it into that with those weird eggs and stuff and it's real and he actually did it love to get back into the shop mostly use oil I like to check out all mediums that's good there it is there it is. There it is. That's such a good shot of it. Look how cool that looks. I was there. In Figura, Spain. And it has all those little, like... They look like little loaves of bread. On there. And the eggs on the rooftops. And that, like, dome is part of it. And it goes inside that courtyard. In Figura, Spain. One of the greatest times of my life. Oh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, there's something back here. What the hell? <gasps> oh. Secrets! Oh my god. I'm putting this up. Oh, I forgot about this! Oops. God damn it. Every time. But we can show his face. It's a poster. Get it done. Good times. So, that was fun to look at. Dolly's definitely my favorite artist. But that's kind of what I wanted to open it up to was what some of your guys' favorite artists are. We got about like 30 minutes. That's a close-up of those little, like, things that are plastered all over the wall. And they're all different.
The silhouette of the stags with the forest is cool. Loving the colors too. So much color. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I've done all sorts of acrylics. Yeah, Scalawag is a multimedia giant. <laughs> oh, thanks. My son of the requested that. I'm so glad he did because it was something so different, and I really enjoy trying new things, pushing comfort zones, and branching out. Nice. Beautiful. I've learned so much so fast because of that. I've only been painting about six months. What? Really, Nix? Wow. Oh my god. My latest I'm amazed. Wow. You have real true talent. You know you can't like tsh. What do you do? You just born with it. Can't ask for it, can't buy it for sure. That's amazing. My latest medium is ink pens and doing like stipple and pointillism. Oh yeah. You and uh you and Cat Asian, oh my god, best friends. But what's who's some of your guys' favorite artists, living or not? Or if you just like, like, you know, certain, like, whatever, like, whatever artists. What do you guys think? I've been drawing all my life. Always had a passion for art. I, you know, I did art as a kid, as, you know, any normal kid would a lot, but, um, so to speak, like. Stink! My dude coming through with some, my man! How's it going? Go, yeah! What's up, dude? How you doing this evening, Stink, my man? Love all the old master stuff. Would love to try some cool Baroque portraits. Ooh, let's look at some Baroque portraits then. Baroque. Oh, well. Let's see. Nick spelled it right. I didn't. <laughs> Some of these show, see a Baroque portrait classic. Oh my God, well, I don't know if, what is it, Rembrandt Baroque? Ooh, this is one of my favorites, so Caravaggio. Ooh, ooh Caravaggio. Caravaggio kills it. Oh my God, gorgeous. Most beautiful painting you'll ever see. Oh, we're gonna get some heavy detail right here. Oh my god, look at this detail. Holy cow. <laughs> One of my favorite vines. Stink the land. And new bell and new bell in. Yo, Fonzie with the host. Thank you, my man. I love Alex Gray. Oh, yeah. Let's look at some Alex Gray. Let's study this Caravaggio just a little more. He was just a master of light. How it comes in like that. It's actually an exceptionally good photo, but that's what's up. Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh, I should probably, I need to make that a button. I'm gonna make it a button right now. Make it a button. Oh, 
What is it gonna be? I want it to be source. And I want it to be... Are we a studio? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Why is that? Scene. And I want it to be... The... Window capture. Oh, frick, hold on. Source. Oh, oh my god. Where is it? Window capture. Freaking what? Very interesting. These are out of order badly. Wow. Seems like it should be there. Well, guess I'll mess with it later. Bell and official. Dude, check this. Oh, your favorite artist. I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Stink. I, I can see why it definitely. Okay, so I'm seeing some boobies, but I'm just going to do this. This is a perfect example of exactly why Stink loves this, dude, because it's very much, very much like your style, I think. A little different. Your style, your style is unique, Stink the Land, for sure. Dude, thanks for sharing. Hell yeah, man. How's it been going, dude? Those are incredible. Yeah, those are tight, huh? Really nice. Um, Guy Atchison and tattoo artist Mike Cole. Okay, let's look at... Um, Alex... EY. Yeah, this is like a classic, classic Alex Gray. Wish we could zoom in on that a little, but yeah, pretty sweet. Very nice. Mm. This is tough. I need that window capture button. Thank you, Sipak. Thank you. Sipak! Oh, welcome back. Okay. I was like, Sipak's back. Wait. That's gorgeous. Oof. All good, dude. Just chilling. Very nice, Stink. I'm very glad to hear that, man. Hope you had a good day. Easter and Easter's day, guys. Happy Easter. I had a birthday. I had a birthday yesterday. Great time. Interesting when it happens close to Easter's like that. Gonna move my car right fast. Okay, sit back. Yeah, dude, he's a really dope artist, and I like, but I like more cartoon artists. Oh, cool. You got some others? Who else? Alex Gray, and then you were talking about. Guy Atchison. I'm just going to copy that. Even. Oh, okay. Tattooing. Oh, my God. Crazy. Oh, that shows a little booty. Well, this is probably... This 
This is good. Amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah, really good. Oh, good boy, Eddie. How's it going? How are you? What's up, young? Yo, Pop, how you feeling? How you doing? Yeah, a guy atches him. Hello, yo, welcome the legend himself. The the original legend before it was even called legend. Good boy Eddie. Those are incredible, yeah. And then uh who else? Mike Cole. Oh wow, he does really cool stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's really nice. Amazing. The detail, the, the crisp, clean lines. Very amazing. Guy does amazing paintings too. Yeah, we looked at Guy Atchison first. The legend himself. That is correct, Amundo. <laughs> good boy, Eddie, coming through with the Bob Rosses. Looks so good. Let's see, who else? Um... Uh... Bellin, yeah, we looked at. Oh, Mike Baxter. Oh, I guess that's a baseball player, too. Oh, my God, that's tight. I like the name. Oh, is he a tattoo artist or he has he obviously has this tattooed that's the dopest thing I've ever seen that's a real for real deal oh my god I can't get a good photo Okay. Holy cow. That's the coolest. The detail, it's so perfect. Lisa? Dude, that's that's legitness. Super legitness. Oh, I'm sorry, guy I just in paintings. Thank you. My bad. My bad, dude. Oh my goodness. He does. Oh, he makes you know about. One of my favorite graffiti artists. Let's see. Stink the legend. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, so good. Dude, that's crazy looking. I wonder how oh, let me see something. I do this and like do this. Give you a little more. Very sick. Very sick. Guy Guy Atchison. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Scalawag, that makes me, like, understand. I was wondering if that was his. I was looking at that first. That makes me understand, like, so many of the paintings that you have made better. Understanding that you definitely have looked at this guy's work. Paintings in particular. Well, that's not gonna work. I can't really get this. Ooh. Oh, cool. Mike Baxter's a tattoo artist and painter. Nice. And this isn't loading. But I love... Dang, what's another? This is one of my other favorite Dolly paintings. Mm. Piano painting. Yeah. I don't know what... Necrophiliac Fountain, I guess, is what it's called. I mean, uh... Is that the best title? Well... He certainly wasn't gonna... This has way more color. Holy fuck. Oop. Hmm. Hard to get a good photo, but this is a pretty good photo. These like prints of it for sale. But it's just so crazy. It's like the piano's like leaking. It's like a fountain. Real simple landscape, but subtle. The cypress trees he always uses. This weird like thing that's back there. It's like almost something wrapped in cloth or something. I love that one. Hmm. Dude, I strive to be like I Atchison with painting style. Yeah, I can so see that. I love that style, the bioorganic. It, I can see that so clearly with you. It's awesome. It makes me, like I say, appreciate your work more, Scalawag, knowing that. Sorry, been in uh, Twitches. You're all good, dude. Sit back. You're all good, my man. How's things going? Sit back. How you holding up, man? This one, I believe, too. Uh. Oh, yeah. I believe this is next to the Persistence of Memory in the MoMA. So crazy. My like, dude. Bruh. Go, good boy, Eddie. Shouting out, sit back. Getting to sit back f for once before. <laughs> oh no, S sit back said it first. <laughs> I was like, damn. Oh, perfect. I can't wait to sit back. I absolutely cannot wait, dude. It sucks, but I'm doing okay. That's good, man. I know it's rough, unbelievable. You know, you know that I, man, I don't even know how I'm going to react. I'm going to be messed up bad when my grandma passes for sure. I'm on top of it. My deepest condolences for you. I'm thinking about you all the time. Sit back, sending you good vibes and love and praying for you, man. Best we can do, you know? <sighs> Saddest thing, man. Okay, so... 
Ah, Nyx, you're so sweet. Hell yeah, Scalawag's such a dope artist. Oh my god. I'm trying to think what other man I love to paint. So, so Nyx, Nyx Eternal made a painting by Degas. We'll just look at some of Degas' work right now. No, I'm sorry. What did I say? Made a painting. Nyx Eternal made a painting today. Gorgeous painting of a ballerina that really reminded me of Degas' work. Um, it wasn't by him, I know. I'm sorry. I don't know even why I said that. I'm trying to like click on 100 things. Nyx Eternal made, yeah, a, paint, a unique painting. And it just, yeah, reminded me of Degas' work. It's so gorgeous. So let's look at some of Degas' work. Most of this is pretty. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'll just bring them up by individual painting. Something like this for sure. Oh my god, what are these things? Can't ever just like find the image. Well, I guess this is the best it'll get. I have two more paintings on the go at the moment. I'm really excited to show them. Ooh, can't wait. I mean, something like this. Some of them are... I have to do this. Something like this very much. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god, what the oh. Kinda in a way. Just like how the atmosphere is rendered in the skirts or the tutus? Well, this is like, oh my god. Whatever. Probably even something like this. You know? Yeah. Really nice. So. I thought that was super awesome, Nix. You did so good. You like I say, you have for real talent. Now that everyone is showing their favorite artists, I've got a few I can show. It's cool to see some of the work from that one artist. <laughs> Which one, Fonzie? But yeah, share with us, Fonzie, for sure. Please do. Yeah, normally I love to blend everything like crazy. So that's how I was you know, I can see the blending though. Like from the skirt out, and I love that, and that's what I love about oil the most. Um, yeah, and so I feel you. That's what I love about it most, but it's also fun to to let it like kind of be on there. There's one artist. Oh man, let me see if I can find this dude right here. You know, I can almost guarantee I can. Rob Ray. Oh. Well. Oh, it's R E Y. Yeah. Oh my God. What I'm looking for, like one. I don't know if I can find this. Dude, how does he? Oh my God! It's oh my God. How does he even do that, man? Some of this stuff is. Oh, this one. This one. Oh, please give me a good photo. Oh, a band. Yep. I've helped out at this gallery and stuff. Oh my god, guys. Ugh. Look how gorgeous. Like, you can see all those brush strokes. This is... It almost looks like it's a digital painting. Like, how it's rendered. 
But it's these brush strokes. Like, oh my god, that's oil. And the colors, though. And how it illuminates. Oh my god. That is what's up right there. I love to blend, blend everything like crazy, yeah. Yeah, dude, I just got some oil painting and I'm a stick to oil. Ooh. You just got some stink? Have you ever messed with oil? Yeah, you have. Dude, hell yeah, stink. It's the best. Like, I mean, for me, for working that way, you know? This is a good one. Okay, let's see the ball. Oh, okay, the ball is this. Oh, dude, nice. Good call. Yeah, he's got these like Zelda. But ooh, that one's tight right here. This guy is good. Yeah, the ball. You see, a lion when you can see. Really nice style. Super nice. I love it. Wicked cool. Good call to ball. Good call to ball. Mm, that Rob Ray is clean work, huh? Oil. The illumination is freaky. I'm saying, Nick's like, oh, God, I'm so jealous of that. Like, because, like, you know, I, I, I think about how you render that. And you just have to work so freely and like so confidently. But it looks effortless. It's just done so painterly is a good way to describe it. His work is banging. Let's look at some more. Oh, yeah, I've seen him stream. He's really good. Oh, I love that Vegeta and Black Cat. Oh, dang. Yeah. Residue. Ooh, Residue. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, wait, what is that name? Hell yeah, Residue. Good looking. DeBall and uh, Fonzie coming through with that. Let's fucking, let's stock Rob Ray some more. And try to learn all of his secrets, guys. This one, this is the first painting I saw of his. And I think I almost threw up because it's so beautiful. You know, like you know what I mean, guys. Like when you when you're about to throw up because it's so beautiful. <laughs> like the the lighting is just so, done so beautiful. Like you can see every brushstroke. Oh my god. Ooh, so good. Oh, so good. Let's see another. This one. This is a great example of those really uh, hard to. It'll be probably hard for you guys to see. Oh my god. Like he almost has. Like look at this one. It's almost like an anime style. Do you guys think? Like look at those colors and like the rendering. Like it has. To me, a reference to anime somehow, in there. That was not the correct link. Oh. Whoops, the ball. Oh, you motherfucker. You're banned. You're so banned. I tried to play it off. Hit it in a bitly link. Oh, god damn it. If you ever again. If you ever again. I know. I know. Hasn't happened in a while. I have to toss this comic artist in the mix. Oh yeah, tight. 
Let's check it out. I didn't know that was still a thing. I know Deval tries to bring up old shit. Oh, Alex Ross? Are you kidding me? Dude, he's one of... Th oh, hell yeah, of course. Dude, you turned me on to the, uh, the graphic novel uh, Kingdom Come that he did. That's... To me, that's one of the greatest comic works ever, but... Look at this, dude! Oh my god. Like, the lighting is what's up. Gigolet print for a grand. Get the fuck. Mm. Out of here. Mm, it's hard to get a good image. Hard to get a good image of this one. I guess we'll... Just use this Amazon one. Like, that's a painting. Too good. I don't know artist people. You know some artists. And even if it's just like Insta artists, that's cool too. Ah, man, I can... Leads me to follow like 50 million people. I don't know names though. See, that's the thing is you gotta, you gotta remember the names. Oh my God, look at this. I, w I wonder, I can't really zoom in. Pinterest. Pinterest. How, do, how does Pinterest even work? I don't even know. Pinterest. You put a pin in your interest. It doesn't even have the painting I was looking at. Wow. Oh, God. He knows values. Oh my god, this one, guys. Louder, son. Yo. Yo. Target my dude coming through that Twitch Prime 16 months, baby. Yo, Target my man come through the lab dabs. Let's go. Oh my god, it's been too long, my dude. How are you, man? Ah, Target. Blow it up in the chat for Target week 47. Been a minute. Everyone showing up to give the love. Stink the land. Sit back. And uh, uh, Nick's eternal. Good vibes. Good vibes. Thank you for the good vibes. That's perfect. Lab dabs. I'm doing good. I'm just moving. Yeet. Oh, movie. No shit, dude. Hell yeah. Very good. Very good. So good, smoking hot, <laughs> nice. New and nicer apartments, very good, man, very good. I'm glad to hear, I know it's rough, I know it's hard. Um, but my man, thank you so much for the support through all these months. So great to see you once again, as always. What else is going on, man? How's working all that? I got a new job with Dell and it's during the day. <laughs> yes, excellent. So you're saying we're gonna see you all the time. Start in two weeks. That is dope. Congratulations, Target. How's everything else? How's your lady? I'm sorry. How's your wife? Let's not be disrespectful. 
But guys, look at this. So you can see, look at those brush strokes. Uh, the Aurora, like this part where you can see that paint really thick on there. And in here, oh my God. So good. Rob Ray. We're gonna get it. Ooh, dang, Scalawag, that is crazy. Oh, that's tight. Ooh. You take your time. Alien bot? Dude, that work is unbelievable, Scalawag. So clean the detail. Unbelievable. We're doing good. She is a lady. I mean, she is a lady. And we're about to be better when I get day shifts. Good. That's awesome. I know, that's like hard on things. Heard about my dog? Uh, actually, I think you might have told me. Or... Did you get a new pup? Remember you showed us long ago when you first got it? Yeah. I was thinking I remember something like that. Delville <laughs> never letting him forget about Quo 81. Check general text chat on Discord. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, puppers. Oh, it's so cute. It's a boy, right? I couldn't remember. I know. Well, unfortunately, Target has been, has been a minute. It has been about one minute. His name is Bear. That's right. Barry. All right. We got to show Barry. We got to show Barry. There's Barry. Oh god, that's huge. Okay, that's not gonna work, but trust me, he's there. And it's adorable. Love it, man. That's so good. Crap, what was I? I think that's it. Alright. Busier and busier. How are you? How's uh, the full-time streaming? Uh, good. Well, guess I'm not full-time streaming, but full-time art. I still do, like, I think close to 30 hours or... Mm, might be closer to 20. Eh, 25 streaming, maybe. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Saturday as well, of course. Usually starting 8 p.m. or so, roughly, so... Really a great dog. I love that. That's awesome. Like, cool personality and listens to you. That's so good. Target, hell yeah, man. I say full-time streaming. You think so? I don't know. I, I have this thing, I guess, about, like, I like streaming all day or every day, I should say. All day. I feel like it's too much. You want to spread it out a little. And I need time in between. But dude, it's been super awesome. It's been amazing. It's been the best. So. I appreciate you asking, dude. Really great dog. Well, how full, how's full-time art? Dude, it's been awesome too. This like huge freaking Broncos painting. Four by six foot. I'm getting pretty close on it. So, been working on that. Um, have this other one, that pinata too, which is sweet. Fully part time streaming, Duval. I thought you were banned. I thought you were banned, Duval. God damn it. Glad you get to do what you love. 
If your artwork is what you love, you never work a day in your life. And Target, that is for real. I'll be honest that, well, like last month, we did, we've been doing, you know, a painting to the top bit donator. And, um, I got, I tried something different. You cannot ban yourself. I tried. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. This is a, that is a massive painting. It is ridiculous. I absolutely <laughs> outdid myself on that one. I underestimated, I should say. <clears throat> but it's been fun. And it's for my good buddy, his parents, who I've known forever, like basically my whole life. So, it's really a special piece, and I'm happy to do it for him, so it's good, but <laughs> those look great. Thanks, man. I know. Sorry, it's like not the best view, but I've been working on them steady, so hopefully if we can see you, you know, if we see you by a little more often, you'll be seeing the progress on those pieces. I work on pretty much strictly those two right now. I have other projects, so you know what I'm saying. Things just things to get done. Your easel looks way too clean. That's because you can't see it up close. Mine is new since Christmas and already covered in paint. Well, I can't really get too like expressive in the basement here. I actually the other night was like messing with like blending some oil that was pretty loose and it was like it was all over and it was still wet oil paint like on the easel and I was getting it all over my hands and I was like, it, it got all around but it was such fine, just a little miss so it wasn't too bad. Nix. Definitely, I'll make sure to check in for, sh for progress. Awesome. Well guys, we just were kind of like chopping it up about our favorite artist today. Um, went through the Dali book, had a lot of fun looking at some of my favorite paintings of all time, looking at those super cool facsimiles of those documents. So um, basically we're going to switch over to some Zelda as of right now. Yeet, sit back, lab dabs. Um, we're gonna do a break in between. I've enjoyed this channel and hanging out with y'all. Yo, Nyx. Honor is all mine, you know. So good to have you here. It is a lot of fun. And I have so much fun with it too. And we're going to be trying to do these podcasts every week. And I'm trying to post them on YouTube. But I'm um, forget that I play some music on breaks and stuff. <laughs> Yay, Target. Let's go.